on South Africa's Reconciliation Day of 16 December 2023. A tremor shook the country's political landscape, the launch of the Mkonto Wesizwe Party, MK Party. This new player, named after the armed wing of the African National Congress, ANC, isn't just another contender. It's a splinter group led by former President Jacob Zuma himself. With promises of radical transformation on its banner, the MK Party is stirring both excitement and apprehension, poised to potentially disrupt the 2024 elections. Born from the ANC amidst internal divisions and Zuma's controversial legacy, the MK Party presents a unique challenge. Its manifesto touts economic freedom and land reform, issues resonating with many South Africans. Opinion polls show a nascent but growing support, particularly among disillusioned ANC voters. Yet, questions cloud the party's future. Can it overcome its association with Zuma's scandals and concerns about potential corruption? The party's economic policies, for instance, advocate for state intervention and nationalization of key industries. While appealing to some, this raises concerns about economic stability and echoes of Venezuela's struggles. On the social front, the MK party leans towards more progressive stances, supporting LGBTQ rights and stricter social welfare programs. For South Africans familiar with history, the name Konto Wases Way evokes memories of daring sabotage missions and sacrifices made in the struggle against racial segregation. However, this MK party distances itself from the historical movement, claiming direct lineage only to its 2023 launch. To understand this new player, we must rewind. Mkonto Wases Way, formed in 1961, employed an armed campaign alongside peaceful protests by the ANC to dismantle apartheid. Nelson Mandela, then a rising ANC leader, served as its commander-in-chief. After years of resistance, the movement played a crucial role in negotiating the end of apartheid and ushering in democracy in 1994. The ANC, riding the wave of liberation, dominated South African politics for decades. But cracks began to show. Corruption scandals involving Zuma, elected president in 2009, tarnished the party's image. Zuma's removal from office in 2018 amid mounting allegations further eroded public trust. Disillusioned with the ANC's trajectory, Zuma, along with his supporters, felt sidelined and unheard. These frustrations fueled the birth of the MK party, vowing to revive the spirit of the original struggle for economic freedom and land reform, issues still simmering in post-apartheid South Africa. Headed by Zuma, with his daughter Dujuzili serving as national spokesperson, the MK party's leadership structure mirrors the ANC's, albeit with a younger guard. However, Zuma's shadow looms large, raising concerns about potential authoritarian tendencies and the party's stance on corruption, a key criticism of the former president. Their manifesto, titled, Towards a Just and Equitable South Africa, outlines ambitious economic policies centered on nationalization of key industries, state-directed investment, and wealth redistribution. Social policies lean towards free education, universal health care, and land reform through expropriation without compensation. When compared to the ANC, the MK party presents a more leftist, populist ideology. Both advocate for social upliftment, but the MK party takes a more radical approach, potentially appealing to disillusioned youth and economically marginalized communities. However, recent polls show the ANC still holding a sizable lead with the MK party needing to solidify its platform and address concerns about transparency and accountability. On specific issues, the MK party takes a hard-line stance on corruption, pledging zero tolerance. However, critics point to Zuma's own checkered past as a source of skepticism. On education, their focus on free university tuition resonates with students burdened by debt. While the ANC promotes a more nuanced approach emphasizing quality and infrastructure upgrades, land reform remains a contentious issue, with the MK Party's expropriation policy contrasting the ANC's focus on negotiation and land redistribution models. A January 2024 survey by Afrobarometer showed the MK Party garnering 5% support nationwide, a small but significant number considering its young age. In Zuma's home province of KZN, the party's support jumps to a concerning 12% for the ANC, 
potentially jeopardizing its dominance. The MK party faces an uphill battle. Its association with Zuma, tainted by corruption scandals, could deter voters wary of repeating past mistakes. Furthermore, establishing a strong organizational structure and securing funding are crucial hurdles, especially against the ANC's well-willed machine. The party taps into widespread dissatisfaction with the ANC's perceived failures, particularly on issues like unemployment and poverty. Its focus on economic empowerment and land redistribution resonates with marginalized communities, offering a fresh alternative narrative. Professor John Bambo of Witt University believes the MK party could act as a spoiler, fragmenting the anti-ANC vote and ultimately aiding the ruling party. Conversely, political analyst Dr. Tandiwe McCandler argues the party could force the ANC to address critical issues ultimately benefiting South Africa's democracy. The MK party's impact on the 2024 elections is yet to be determined. It could act as a spoiler, fragmenting the vote and potentially paving the way for an ANC victory. Alternatively, it could emerge as a viable contender, forcing the ANC to address voters' concerns and potentially reshape the political landscape. Several key questions remain unanswered. Can the MK party overcome its internal divisions and present a united front? Will Zuma's influence continue to be an asset or a liability? Can the party translate its populist rhetoric into concrete policies and effective governance? Only time will tell if the MK party represents a new dawn for South Africa or merely a passing storm on the horizon. The Mkonto Waces Way party stands at a crossroads. Its potential to shake up the South African political landscape is undeniable, but its future remains uncertain. Whether it becomes a force for positive change, or fades into obscurity hinges on its ability to address critical questions about its leadership, policies, and long-term vision. The upcoming elections will be a crucial test, and the nation watches with bated breath to see if the MK party can truly deliver on its promises of a brighter future. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.